already doing the speed of traffic. Actually, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today, too, I think, because I've been seeing a lot of Facebook posts with all the uh, young guys and old guys and just people who are into Hudson's, and they're always talking about whether or not they should keep or chuck their old flathead. And I always thought that was kind of a really interesting conversation to have, because for me it wasn't even a question, but maybe you're thinking about, like, doing a Hudson, or you have one, and you're just trying to think about whether you want to keep the original powertrain, or you want to do something different with it, or I don't know what. But if you have a Hudson, a Hornet, and uh, all of my perspective comes from owning, driving, rebuilding this Hornet, but if you have a Hudson and you're kind of debating what to do with the flathead, maybe some of what I say will matter, and maybe you'll think about what you want to do, or maybe it'll help with that over for these construction guys. So obviously I kept my flathead. So I'm going to be a little bit biased and I'm going to tell you why I kept my flathead and why I didn't think that I wanted to swap in like a V8 or some, you know, Chevy 6 or something like that. But uh, reason number one, I guess, because I don't, I don't know how to do these whole list of things. It's fun to drive the flathead. Uh, Especially the 308, the big six, right? Hudson people, the 308's the big six, the 262 is the littler six. It's a lot of fun to pass other cars with a 70 year old flathead six. It's just fun to drive. Uh, it's not, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a fast car. I mean, it's obviously a heck of a lot faster car. Not from the era, though, I wouldn't say. I mean, sure, you know, you had, like, Chrysler introduced their Hemi in, what, 53 and stuff like that. Maybe that was just a little bit faster, but this is the fastest car on the road, really. Anybody who knows the racing history with Hudson knows that they're pretty much unbeatable. AAA, stock car racing, NASCAR, things like that. There's a lot of cool history there, but... Sure, it's not the fastest thing on the road today, but it's fun. It's fun and it has that sound, you know. I think flatheads have a really unique sound. I don't know what it is about like overhead valve engines. They just sound different, you know, even the sixes. But there's just something really unique about the driving experience. The way it sounds, the way it feels, um, all that torque. I think it makes peak torque at like 1800 RPM. It's just incredible. It's, it's a lot of fun to just goose it and, and hear that noise and pass other cars knowing that you're... Maybe you're making 210 horsepower? I don't know, but you're making like way more torque than that. It's a lot of fun. I've never dynoed this thing. I know what all the original numbers were. You know, the H145 stood for 145 horsepower, maybe with twin H you made 160 or 170 or something like that, but I'm not positive what this car is making. I think I'm making well over 200 horsepower with all the changes and things like that, but the torque is phenomenal. You make it all instantly. As soon as you step on the gas, you get that jolt. You don't have to tack it up all the way to like five grand just to hear anything or have it do anything. So that's a lot of fun. That's what makes it fun to drive for me. I don't know you get that with other sixes, but the fact that it's a Hudson engine makes it kind of cool to drive too. 